Hey there, my senior friends. I'm glad you're here today. I'm sorry I can't be there with you, but I wanted this activity to go ahead nonetheless in my absence. This is going to require you to find a piece of paper. There's some scrap paper over there on the wooden bookshelf on the top tray, or maybe you've got some in your possession, and of course something to write with. Don't worry, it's going to be relatively painless. Go ahead and pause the video while you make those preparations, and then hit play once you are ready. All right, I'm glad you're back now. This activity is called A Walk on the Wild Side. We'll have to talk about that title and whether or not it's appropriate when I return, as well as the subtitle there, An Introduction to Archetypal Theory. Well, let's not worry anything about that right now. Let's get right to the activity. There's some special directions, and uh, you're going to find a series of prompts in just a moment. Close your eyes and envision those. Let that scene just unfold before your imagination. Don't try to force anything. Don't try to make anything happen. Just let it occur in your mind's eye. Don't forget to open your eyes again, however. And at that point, I need you to record some notes. Uh, it can be note form. doesn't have to be complete sentences. But try to be detailed. Try to get the description of what you just imagined. Ignore everything else around you. Don't worry about what anyone else is saying. Don't worry if it makes sense. The pieces may seem separate. They may seem to flow together. Just let it happen. One other instruction, uh, since this video may be in my absence, what you'll need to do is to appoint somebody to, uh, to hit pause after each prompt. And then a lot, at least 90 seconds, maybe as much as two minutes before moving ahead. All right, here we go. You're walking through a woods. Close your eyes for a moment. Imagine that woods that you're walking through and then describe this woods. You see a bear. Describe this bear and what happens. You see a stranger. Describe the stranger and what happens. You see a cup. Describe this cup and what you do with it, if anything. Your walk continues and now you come upon a key. Describe this key and what you do with it, if anything. You see water. Describe this water and what you do, if anything. You now see a wall. Describe the wall and what you do, if anything. Describe what is on the other side of the wall. Now, what does all that mean? Well, the theory of archetypes does suggest a meaning. And it suggests that what you just envisioned may not have been uh, coincidence or imagination, but really may have come from someplace deep in your subconscious. It, it suggests this theory that your vision was actually inspired by something called archetypes, that is, well, symbolic images that, that, that come to us from, from our ancient ancestors. How we got these memories uh, from our ancient ancestors, how they're in our brain already, uh, that's kind of a crazy theory, and more about that a little later. But if this is truly the case, that somehow deep in our subconscious mind, we already had some sort of understanding about the woods and the bear and the stranger and the cup, etc., well, this might suggest that the woods is more than just a woods. So, speaking of the woods, what was your woods like? And, and what happened with the bear? And when you saw the cup, what did you do? And more importantly, what do your answers mean? What do they say about you? Well, let's find out. Take your notes and uh, notice around the room there are some uh, brightly colored pieces of paper that have a little bit of text on 
each one of them, and each one of those indicates what uh, the bear, the cup, the woods, etc. supposedly symbolizes, uh, symbolizes and, and suggests about you and your life. What do these choices say about your life? Take some time, check those out. You don't have to go in any particular order. Share your results if you'd like. Enjoy. Pause the video, by the way, and we'll come back for one last thing when you are done. All right, you're back. I hope you enjoyed that. I can't wait to find out about the, about the woods and uh, what happened with the bear and uh, about that key. But there's a little follow-up assignment to take care of sometime during the course of this week. First of all, I hope I got prepared for you a, a blue handout, I should say archetypes at the top, kind of in outline form. Uh, pick that up if it is available. And your assignment with that is to view the first two presentations about archetypes that are posted in a section by that name on the Moodle page for English 12. You're going to use those two presentations to fill out relevant sections on the outline. Now, don't worry, there's a, a third presentation, and, and there will be perhaps some gaps in the outline, and we'll, we'll sort those out later. And more importantly, we'll start using that information as we explore this theory, as, as it might be helpful in interpreting some of the literature that we share together this semester. Hope you had fun with Walk on the Wild Side. Can't wait to see you again next time.